Right, so this is a, com a complex number and it's derived in the polar form. So first of all, you've calculated that distance. And so what do you use? You used, you find the modulus of 2 plus 2i. So we'll call this z1. So z1 is equal to 2 plus 2i. We get the modulus. z1 modulus is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared. Z1 modulus is equal to square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared. Z1 is equal to square root of, yeah, 4 plus 4 is the square root of 8. So R, the distance here, square root of 8. Right. The other thing is we need this, we need the angle. All right, all right. So we get the angle using the tan formula. So I'll just remove some of this. So you know that point is two plus two i. All right. So to get this angle, we complete complete this triangle. This triangle. We're looking at this triangle here. Right. So the the tan formula. So we're looking for this angle. Tan theta, you see, what's the formula for tan? Opposite and adjacent. Yeah. Opposite over adjacent. All right. So opposite is this one here? Two. Opposite is equal to two. The adjacent? Two. All right. So tan theta is equal to? One. Yeah. Two over two, which is equal to one. All right. So now you need to use your calculators there, please. Inverse tan theta uh, in brackets one. Yes, so forty-five degrees. So this angle up here is forty-five degrees. So now we've got the information that we need. The radius is the square root of it, and the angle is forty-five degrees. Right. I just. Square root of 8, and the angle is 45 degrees. So is that right. opposite 2 because uh, it's 2 Just one second. Okay, to write it in polar form, this is the formula. Polar form. So it's R, which is the radius, and then with cos theta plus I sine theta. So R is the radius, just fill it in, just fill it in, that's all you have to do. Square root of 8, cos, plus theta, 45 degrees, plus I, 45 degrees. 